happening. Okay, HIV content. I've been looking at the NDLA repository and there are at least two content types that you can uh, use right away. And the idea behind that seems to be that um, many of the HFE content types are kind of behavioristic. So you have one proper answer, correct answer, and students have to find that answer, know that answer, guess the answer. And this is a little different. So they're called priority and discussion. So they're a little more open. So one use case, for, oh, let's have a look at HFE priority, for example. Um, that is how it looks. Um, so the idea is that you uh, define some statements first and then you have to bring them into order, but there's no given correct order. So it is really subjective. So let's say the, the I thought of one example, maybe not the best one, but let's say, okay, um, H5P has a couple of features and um, um, or some some properties you could say so for example hfe doesn't cost a cent or hfe strives to be accessible or hfe is open source software and now um the user's task so my learner the learner's task my task would be to to order them so first of all i would say um hfp is open source oh, oh you see yeah you, you just you already see some of the weirdnesses i think so uh, if you want to move those you can't click here you have to click on that drag symbol here. So uh, let's say this is the most important because I think um, all the other things um, uh, are kind of uh, relate to that. So if it's open source software, it's usually free. So let's say um, put that at the bottom and uh, let's say strives to be accessible. Let's put that here. And you already see this behavior is a little wonky. So um, it takes some time to resize, and sometimes it doesn't resize at all. But let's let's say um, those are my three statements, and now you see one strange thing again. Or maybe can I, can I put that back somehow? No, I can't, um, because I would would have been able to add more statements if I had some more. But now that field is gone, so I can't. A little strange. Um, good thing is, so now um, okay, this is my, my subjective order of things, my priority. But maybe you, you think differently. You say that. Uh, it strives to be accessible is the most important. So you would have uh, put that on top. And of course, if a teacher sees the result, he or she doesn't know uh, why that is um, sorted that way. So I could add a comment. And let's say uh, just what I thought. So I would click on comment and now I could type uh, my answer. So yeah, so let's let's do yada, yada, yada for now. So these are my, my reasons why I put that there and I could put them here. And then I scroll down and see like another glitch. So this is cut off because it doesn't resize properly. Um, but I've created an issue on the GitHub repository. Uh, so, okay, let's say I'm done. I have my comments here and now I have to resize in some way. So let's trigger resize. Now it, it's working. And now I could give a summary. So, you know, the famous food bar is my summary. Um, adding some extra comments that, that don't fit onto the uh, things here. And then uh, I could create a document. So um, similar to to a documentation tool, I um, yeah I have get, get a template kind of that I can print and uh, then send to a teacher. And if you have that LMS option active, then you could click on submit. But I checked; it doesn't actually submit anything. So this is also missing that that all those things you see the visual glitches and. Uh, Having that submit feature that doesn't do anything um, might be a reason why it's not on the HFP hub yet. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but that is what you can um, can access as well. That is basically what you can do it. And maybe just to show you again. So if I restart, of course. So I could now have before I um, uh, enter those. I could add an alternative. Let's say HFP is nice. I don't know. That is my alternative, and then I have that as well. And uh, I still only have three options, so um, but maybe I think this alternative is really missing, so um, I now could sort that in. You see, it's, it's a little, little strange. So I put it down, then it takes, I don't know, half a second to resize. So, yeah, it's a little weird, but it, but it works nicely. So, and if we have a look at the editor, of course, um, it's not complicated. It's this usual form. Oh, yeah, yeah. There are a couple of things that you can, can even um, add, so... Uh, pretty straightforward. You have the statements that you can add. Uh, you can give some instructions for the summary. And then uh, one thing you could do it 
maybe you need some resources that I have to read through uh, first. So you could add those. So you can have, um, let's call it demo title. Oh no, let's come, let's do halfway decent. So let's say H5P. And let's say this is the H5P um, page. I don't know. And let's put in h5p.org. So uh, we could add those and we'll see um, how those are presented in just a second. You can add more. You could even add um, an image if you wanted to. And then you have some behavioral settings. So for example, uh, classic, you need a retry. Let's say no, you can just do it once. And um, you could, could decide that the uh, statements shouldn't be on the right-hand side, but that they should be on the left-hand side ordered already. Um, you could say randomize them, and you could even say only give me a couple of um, um, or a random selection of those. That's possible as well. So if you can have more statements than fields you have to put them to. Um, yeah, you can disallow to add uh, own statements, for example. And yeah, you could also uh, remove the comments and the summary section if you wanted to. And let's have a look at that now. So now you see I cannot retry and um, it's pre-populated. And um, uh, yeah, and I now have this resources button. If I click on that, it's similar to the uh, right view page. Um, I get just get a list of those things. An image would be put here. And uh, yeah, read. if I click on read, that would um, of course open the H5P page that I linked to. And uh, yeah, that is H5P uh, priority. That's how it's, how it's called. And it's created by the NDLA. It's, uh, that's important to note. That's not mine. Um, yeah, but I found it some glitches, but um, they use it already. And um, you could use it as well if you install it. Which brings me right to the point. So um, let's have a look at, we don't want that. Something I looked up earlier. So that is the overall GitHub repository of the NDLA. And you will see if I click on repositories here, and um, there's all kinds of stuff that they have created and made public. And if I only filter for H5P, then I still get 25 results. So you see three image, which is for interactive tour, editor three image also. Uh, here it is, order priority. This is the one uh, we want. And uh, you could install that from here. You would have to build it. Um, unfortunately, uh, there's no pre-built package that I know of that you could just download. Um, yeah, but um, it is not that complicated. So I'll just leave uh, the link on the chat and of course in the uh, video description later on. And then you can play around with interactive, no, with, uh, with HRP priority.